I think that Algerman Sterling will become the bantamweight goat of 135 uh, pound division at bantamweight, also known as bantamweight division, if he passes Sean O'Malley this weekend. All right, and I'm gonna make my argument for him here. Algerman Sterling is on a roll recently. I know he has really weird wins. All right, really weird wins. But he is going to be the bound point goat if he wins this fight. I, I, I think he is. Some people are calling him the goat now. But I don't agree with that. All right, he's only got Piotr Jan rematch defense, TJ Dillashaw, and Henry Cejudo. Dominic Cruz has defended Bunch. I understand. But come on. You need to... You need to stop, Cruz, all right? Sterling and Cruz are tied. All right, but what's Sterling else to prove? All right, what has he got to prove? Realistically, he won't fight Marab. If he fights Marab, which won't happen, but if he does, then that's another defense right there. But I do believe Marab would beat him. But Sterling should be the banana weight go if he wins this fight. His championship wins are already good enough. That's how good he is already. It's good enough. All right, it's the it's good wins. That's all. That's like that's one thing right there. But his non-championship wins, his grind up to the belt, is crazy. It's insane, and I'll show you it. Algernon Sterling, he could lose this weekend, and all of this video is just a waste. You know, but he beat. You know. Ever since losing, and I'll get to his losses as well. I'll get to his losses, and I'll compare Cruz at the end of this video as well to this, this record. Brett John undefeated, 15-0. 15-0. Undefeated. Sterling shuts him down with a unanimous decision. Then he beats Cody Stamen with the knee bar. Great performance over Cody Stamen, who was on a streak 17-1. 22-2 Jimmy Rivera. All right, and Rivera, I think is I think he lost, he lost to uh, Marlon Moraes and then beat John Dodson, then lost to Sterling. I had something there for him, but still, he beat Jimmy Rivera, shut him down. Great performance as well, and great fighter in Jimmy Rivera. Pedro Munoz, eighteen and three. You know, all these guys with the losses here have combined six losses right there. And Rivera and Munoz. And Stamen's one loss. Alright, then he beat Corey Sanhagen in a spectacular performance. Shut him down first round, Renick joke. Easy work. Like nothing happened. You know, great performance. You know, then he had. Then we go to the championship part. Those right there are solid wins. More so the Sanhagen, Munoz, and Rivera win. The other two aren't really. They're good, but they're not at that level. You know, but those are good wins. All right, phenomenal wins. You know, then he beats Yan by legal knee. We're gonna forget that. All right, he made up for it with the defense and the rematch against Piotr Yan. All right, and he beat him by split decision. Some people think Yan won. Al Josh won now. Majority of the MMA world do think Al Jermain Sterling won that fight. All right, then he beats CJ Dillashaw. You know, Adilisha's arm got injured. Nothing, not Aljo's fault. Can't really blame him for it. TJ should have pulled out. That's TJ's fault right there. And Sterling beat him. Fucking beat him. All right, great performance by T by uh by uh Sterling. All right, he beat him up. Was probably gonna win that fight anyway, and took down DJ before TJ dislocated his arm. You know, then he beats Cejudo. Close fight, Sterling slightly wins. Same situation with the Yan rematch there. In that case, Sterling wins against Cejudo. Great performance. You know? And if he beats Sean O'Malley, and guess what right there? 12-1, Corey Sanhagen. 15-1, Piotr Yan. 16-2, Piotr Yan. 17-4, TJ uh, Dillashaw, who some people... Some people are kind of delusional and think he's the GOAT at Bantamweight. He's not. He lost to Cruz and Sterling and Cejudo. 
clearly not the bottom weight goat right there. Um, actually, he was on the road against Udo. Um, and if he beat Sean O'Malley, nobody's done that yet. You know? So, yeah, other than Vera, but Vera, still, you know? Weird shit, perennial nerve and crap. All right? We'll check out his... Now, let's check out Cruz. Let's check out Dominic Cruz now. That's what I want to look at. Dominic Cruz, we'll go to Vera's page, then Dominic Cruz. There we go. Not Sanhagen. Cruz, we're going to go to. Dominic Cruz. He's had WBC fights. WBC fights. All right, I understand. But still, you know? He beat Brian Bowles, who was 8 0 for the belt. Yan was 15 and 1. I'd say Yan has a better record, to be honest with you. Joseph Benavidez split decision 12 and 1. And at the time, he beat Piotr Yan, who was 16 and 2. Better record again. I know he has more defenses than Aljo, but still. You know, then he beat Scott uh, Jordanson. Jo- Scott Jordanson he beat as well. All right, good win. But Aljo, you know, at that time beat TJ Dillashaw. You know, which is a better win than Scott Jorgensen. You know, and yeah, and and Cruz had breaks as well, you know. He had two runs and then separated it from there. You know, he never fought Burrell. Sterling fought Burrell and beat him in the three-rounder a few years ago. All right, and we got to look at his losses as well. We're going to get to that. Then he beat Uriah Faber. Maybe that's Cejudo. That's Cejudo. That's his recent win. You know, that's Cejudo. In in Sterling's case. Uriah Faber. Demetrius Johnson he beat. That's a good fight right there. He beat him. But still, that'll probably be a Sean O'Malley for Sterling. You know, then he has a second run. Cancelled against Faber. Cancelled against Burrell, which he never fought and beat. Would have been huge for him if he got that win over Burrell. But um, that fight got canceled because Cruz pulled out because of a torn groin. Sucks for him. All right. Sterling fought with him. Then he fought Mizugaki. Beat Dillashaw by split decision. You know? Beat TJ Dillashaw. You know? Sterling finished him. I know Dillashaw was injured, but it's not his fault. Again, not Sterling's fault. You know? Then he defended against Faber. You know, so Sterling should really be in the mix here. And if he goes up and wins the second bet, like wins the double champion, if he goes up and beats Volkanovski or Papuria, let's say, that's a nut. That he's the best. He's better than Cruz. Cruz never done that. And Cruz at best has a defense over Sterling. If he Sterling does win this weekend, you know, or they're tied, he should be the battle might go if he wins this. Anyway. Because of Cruz's recent losses. I know he beat Pedro Munoz and Casey Kenny. Sloppy-ass decisions. You know? Sloppy-ass, dumb, boring decisions there for Cruz. Munoz dropped him. Early. Aljamain schooled Munoz. 30-27. Cruz, 29-28. You know? They beat Casey Kenny. I get it, but... Split decision against Casey Kenny, and he lost to Cejudo on short notice. I get it, but Sterling beat Cejudo. You know, Vera like Vera lost to Sanhagen, who lost to Sterling. I know it's not, I know it's making it seem like it's MMA, MMA math here, but still, it's that case. You know, Vera got head kicked badly. Cejudo beat him. Garbrandt beat him. Garbrandt's losing to Rob Font and Kai Kara France. And his pulling out of fights against unranked guys. Not good. Not a good sign. Alright? Not a good sign at all. And Sterling's losses. You know, he lost to Garbrandt quite convincingly there as well, Dominic Cruz. Lost to Cody Garbrandt. You know? Lost to Cejudo by finish. Vera by finish. That's something you need to look at, I think. You know, and Sterling's losses are to Marlon Moraes, Brad K.O. Maybe you can say that's like the, you know, like the like the Cruz losing that Vera situation there. Bad, brutal K.O. there. 
And Marais was on the come up there as well. You know, same as Vera, but you know, he beat Augustus, Augusto Mendez, Hanan Barral, Scold Barral, by the way. It wasn't like a close fight or anything. And he got robbed against a Sunsau in Caraway. You know, he should have won that fight against a Sunsau 2 1. And the Caraway fight. Caraway fight. If you damage, certainly not damaged him, but back, if you score that fight now, today, if you score that fight today, Sterling wins that fight 2 1. But whatever, you know, he beat K. Mizugaki as well. Who beat him first? 2015, 2015 Sterling, and Cruz was 2014. A year apart, Cruz got the edge there. If Sterling wins this, that's four defenses. He should be the bottom white goat if he wins. We don't know how his career will end. I get it. But Cruz most likely will, come, will probably lose his next fight. We'll see. If he fights like, so like Figueredo. Like he could win that. But he could get KO'd. And it's, it's done. You know? This is something you got to take into consideration. I like him here. I like Aljamain Sterling. I think he should be the bottom white goat if he wins. Let me know if you agree in the comment section below. I think Sterling should be the battle go if he wins. Let's be real. And if he goes up and beats Volk or whoever and he becomes the double champion, he's the fucking GOAT. Not the GOAT, not like John Jones level, but he's the GOAT of Bantamweight. Simple as if he beats Volk. If he beats the Puria, then we'll see. You know, because Puria is new. Volks defended bunch, and I think, and he gave a tough fight for Mak for Makashev as well. So if Aljo goes out there, beats O'Malley, he's the bantamweight goat. If he beats Volk or whoever's the featherweight champ, preferably Volk though, let's be real, or or Holloway, don't I don't mind. Then he's the bantamweight goat solidified. Let me know if you agree. But this Alk will be fucking tarnished if he loses to O'Malley by Flute KO. Let me know if you agree. Yan twice. Dillashaw, Cejudo, O'Malley incoming. That's insane. Plus Sanhagen, Munoz, who both are doing alright in their uh, respective careers. Rivera's doing well at BKFC. Stamen's doing alright. Brett John's doing well at Bellator, I think. I think he's over there. Um... Yeah, and his losses aren't bad. Like, Caraway's dipped off a bit. Marlon Rice has dipped a lot. Asuncao's still doing his thing. I know he retired recently, but he still he ended his career quite well. You know? So, yeah. Aljo should be the bantamweight goat if he does win this weekend. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you do agree. I think he is the bantamweight goat if he does win against Sean O'Malley. And some, it's not like this is like, like, oh, Ster like, Sterling should win this 100%. No, people are picking Sugar on, uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley. People are picking him. So this is 50 50 in people's minds, and still people are not going for, for Sterling. They're still picking the other guy, O'Malley. But Sterling should prove the hate is wrong. Not even hate. I sounded cringe. Um, He should prove people wrong still. The people that go against them, he should prove them wrong. Sterling's about to make go if he wins. Let me go if you agree. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.